In this video, I'm going to show you how to rip a DVD using the free and open source software called Handbrake. I followed a few tutorials regarding this. I mean, using Handbrake in itself is pretty straightforward, and I think a lot of people have heard of it at this stage. But there is a couple of things that you need to follow. Um, one to allow you to rip, um, you know, a commercially available DVD like a film, and two, if you, you you might be doing that and it's working, but you're getting like a scrambled video at the end of it. So I just thought I'd um, record this video just to make it a bit clear because it's just taken me a little bit of messing around to try and find out how to do it. So first of all, download a copy of Ambrake. That's available at ambrake.fr, and if you just it's available for all operating systems, uh, Windows, Mac, and Linux. So just grab whatever it is. That, I mean, I should also say as well that I've only tested this in Windows. I don't know if it does work in Mac. Um, so just bear that in mind. So download a copy of that, and then head over to another website, uh, videoland.org. Um, you, again, you might have heard of this VLC. It's a really, really popular player. It's really good, actually. Again, it's free and open source and plays pretty much, well, every format under the sun. But one thing that we want is just this one file. So if you come over to projects and then come down to this lib DVD CSS, just click on that. Just ignore all this. You might, You may or may not understand that. Click on releases. And then come down to this, I think it's 1.2.12. Yeah. And then you can just click on one of these. We do, all we're downloading is this file. It's a direct library link file, and that's the file that you need to enable you to, to, to do this. So just download it for the operating system that you're using. I'm using Windows 64. Um, you can find that out if you just right-click on the Start menu and say, uh, where are we? System, I think it is. Where am I? I can't see it. System there. And it'll tell you there, look. 64-bit operating system and I'm running obviously a 64-bit version of Handbrake so just click on the version that you want it's just all you're downloading is just a simple it's a really tiny it's only a simple text file it's like literally kilobytes it'll download in a matter of seconds so just download that to whatever you you download it to like your desktop or your downloads or wherever and then all that's left to do now is just copy that over into the Handbrake folder now by default that'll be in C program files Handbrake in my case I've done it I've installed it to my applications folder so that's in my case it's d program files handbrake like I say in your case it'll probably be c program files handbrake or, or, or whatever you've installed it and then all you need to do is just simply copy that file into this folder um, I won't do it because I've already done it there there's one or two tutorials floating around on YouTube that say to rename this file but when I did that it didn't work so just leave it as it is hyphen two is fine so that's it and then now you can run handbrake um, I might, it's detecting that I've got a film in this. I won't click on that because if I do it, it, it will probably just take a few seconds to read it. So I'll just cancel that. So imagine it's read through the, the DVD. Ambrick's pretty good and it'll detect the, the largest file um, and know that that's the film. Because a, a DVD is generally made up of quite a few different things. It'll have like the intro sequence, you know, the menus and stuff. So generally speaking, Ambrick, in all the videos that I've, all the films that I've done, it's detected what is the film. So all you need to do then is just click browse on here, point it to a place on your, on your on your computer and give it a file name, and then just choose one of these presets. Um, for DVD, I've been using I think it was this um, HQ seven seven twenty p thirty surround, and that's been working absolutely fine for me, and it's not been creating massive files. So just do that, and then just simply say start encode. Um, and it doesn't take that long. And I mean, mine's got re obviously it depends on your computer, but in my case, I think it took about I don't know, maybe seven minutes or something like that. And then the end result is this is a film here that I've um, I've already done, which is the original Terminator film. Um, so yeah, and it works perfectly fine. So yeah, I hope that's um, I hope someone finds that useful. Okay, if you have any um, problems with that or you want any questions answered, then just leave it. Just leave a question in the comments. Okay, cheers, guys. Thanks a lot.